Hey guys, it's me, the Bearded Gamer. The weekend came, the weekend went, but I saw Star Wars The Force Awakens. Because it's been sleeping for a long time, I guess. 30 some years. Anyway, so two things I want to talk about, two theories I have, and I want to talk a little bit about the movie. Not much though, just if you want to watch it, if you haven't seen it and you really, really want to watch it, please shut me down, turn me off, maybe watch another one of my videos, or maybe... You know, go watch somebody else that isn't Star Wars related or anything like that. But I just want to talk a little bit about The Force Awakens. Anyway, last chance. Three, two, one. Here we go. First off, I love the movie. I love that I got the old characters mixed in with the new characters. I like how they, you know, discover the Millennium Falcon. You know, once again, a piece of junk sitting there. Um, Han and Chewie get it back. I love how their chemistry works. I like how the characters seem a little more sincere, especially, especially Kylo Ren. Really, really, really good. Uh, better acting, a better sense that the story needs to be complete. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Now, I want to walk, talk. I want, I want to walk. I want to walk. I do want to walk. I'm sick of my ankle being broken. But anyway, <laughs> that's something else we'll talk about later right now it's all about star wars did i just give a thumbs down no star wars star wars damn it i'm trying to get used to this camera but anyway back to star wars and not my goddamn rambling okay here we go two theories i like number one the supreme leader now these are for the people i've seen it who do you really think the supreme leader is i have a theory snoke supreme leader well, however you want to call him the major, the, the, the big dude, the big dude, you know, I was sitting there and he was talking to Kylo Ren and the other dude, and I can't think of his name offhand, sorry, sorry, I know, I know I'm going to get some uh, Star Wars guys after me and go, how dare you, how dare you not know, you get me later, anyway, maybe, maybe you just dice me up, doesn't matter, here we go, Snoke, the Supreme Leader, who is he, he is, in my theory, my opinion, I believe he is Darth Plagueis. I believe he is the Sith Lord that trained Emperor Palpatine or Darth Sidious. I really do. I believe he's an ancient being. I believe he survived death. I believe he survived many deaths because as Emperor Palpatine explained in Episode 3, he has a way to manipulate the midichlorians, midichlorians, sorry, or my enunciation is bad. I, I got a big beard, you know. Gets in my way. Midichlorians. <laughs> I'll get that goddamn word, I swear. Anyway, he has the ability to manipulate them. He has the ability to create life. He has the ability to have the ones you care for not die. So why wouldn't he do it to himself? I believe he has. I believe he's been around since day one of the dark side. I believe he is the dark side. The dark side. That's my theory. Uh, I, I'm not sure how they're going to play it out. Um, I believe also that... Let's see here. Let's Anakin Skywalker didn't have a father. Remember that in Episode 3? He never had a father. Or was it? No, I'm sorry. Episode 1. Didn't have a father. He just... Poof! Hi, I'm pregnant! Oh! You know, like certain religions, but I'm not going to get into that. But you're like, oh, I'm pregnant, and I have a Jedi that's going to turn to a Sith Lord. Yay! Don't abort! I'm alright! It's okay! Anyway, I believe Darth Plagueis, or Plagueis, however you would like, however you pronounce it, created Anakin Skywalker and created this whole Star Wars type universe. The whole Skywalker tradition. That's my first thought of the Supreme Leader, or Snoke. That's what I really believe in. Secondly, Rey. She's got all these force abilities. She's got all these talents. She was even more powerful than um, Kylo Ren. Had more powers. Uh, well, I wouldn't say more powers. But was very, very strong in the force. Very strong in the force. So, my second theory of the movie, number two, is that she is Luke Skywalker's daughter. I believe Luke Skywalker, for some fucked up reason dumped her off in that dumpy planet that kind of reminded you of Tatooine kind of like where he was 
dumped her off there, but didn't look like she had a really good life or anything like that. Yeah, not really, not at all. So, way to go, Luke. You win Father of the Year if you are the father, which I believe you are. And now she's coming to the training. She's bringing the lightsaber, which was Luke's, which before Luke was An Anakin Skywalker's. Those are my two theories. Now, I could be off, I could be wrong. Most likely, I might be wrong. I'm not sure. They, they're really not going along with the books that, you know, came after the Civil War. Um, they, I mean, they are, but they're kind of switching names a little bit. And I could be wrong on that, too. Maybe I just don't know how to read very good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Most likely. But anyway, the movie was great. Those are my two theories. The Supreme Leader is the the dark side and Rey is Luke Skywalker's daughter so hey if you guys agree with me let me know if you disagree with me for sure please let me know I take all comments I even take negative comments I love negative comments <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the force I think somebody's force choking me right now it's probably myself Anyway, just leave comments below. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. But, rewatch that movie. I'm going to rewatch it. I'm going to rewatch it probably two, three more times. Because I want to kind of study into it and look into it a little bit. A little more. You know, dive deeper into the story, if you will. But I'm the Bearded Gamer, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.